Good morning, it is July 6, 2015. The time is 06.24 a.m. Eastern Time here in upstate New York, the southern tier of New York State where I live and reside, and we have fog that is lifting from the cornfield here. Hello and... Hey, Shirley, good morning. I'm out here at the edge of the cornfield with the morning coffee, just getting my day started here. And you can see the corn is knee-high. It was knee-high by the 4th of July. Got some green here going out to Shirley over there in Ireland. Getting the day started, and you guys are just probably hitting lunchtime right about now. And uh, haven't done a scope in a while. I tried doing one on the 4th of July. And you get here. Huh, there we go. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I got to get the coffee here. Oh, let me see. I get some decent light here. There we go. But I'm out here at the edge of the cornfield, as you can see. Try to do. Yeah, I, I've been busy with the day job as far as uh, work goes. And uh, I tried doing uh, one on the 4th of July. And you'll be interested to know about this, Shirley. Uh, Seeing that you're doing the training program, I don't know how that looks. I'm sort of whited out. I don't know how this is going to look on the replay. There we go. Get a little background going. But I tried doing one when I came home from the 4th of July. I, I worked on the 4th at the day job. And uh, I was trying, let's see, Shirley was on a ship from MA that they are after sailing across. Oh, really? Sailing? Okay. Um, but, uh, the, uh, last scope I tried doing, I sort of had a bleed over from a, a conversation. Oh, Massachusetts. Okay. M.A. Massachusetts. Okay. Um, what was that about the ship now? You got me interested because I lived uh, a few years up there outside Boston when I was in the service. Very nice, uh, area up there. Very expensive. Ship sailing. Oh, okay. I'm following somebody that uh, he uh, lives up there. He's a photographer. I can't remember his name. Uh, he does the races. But um, I've been on. Um, I did the whale watching there off of Cape Cod, out of Boston there, when I was stationed. I was stationed up there at Hanscom Field, which is just outside. Boston in the the great towns of Lexington, Concord, Lincoln, and Bedford, Mass. It borders uh, the base borders those four. <sighs> mosquitoes are out. Those four uh, townships and uh, uh, very. I was up there probably total maybe three almost four years, and it was very nice. I I, I loved it up there. My wife has a, a nephew that lives in Boston. I think he lives in Cambridge. He went to Boston U. Oddly enough, he works down in Rhode Island, down in Providence, but he commutes from Boston. But uh, that's a great, great area up there. And, uh, you know, the whole Northeast is great. You know, you take all the states, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, great skiing up there, New York, uh, or uh, uh, was it Pennsylvania? They're okay. Pennsylvania's out that way. And uh, we got the fog clearing up now. We're supposed to get some decent skies today. But uh, that periscope I tried doing on the front porch on the 4th of July, it, there was bleed over. So, and I was doing it on an Android. I'm on 3G right now. I haven't done a, a, a periscope 3G in a while. So I'm out here at the edge that where my Wi-Fi can't reach. So uh, I'm going to, you could call this a test. And I think I fi figured out my camera roll bug. Shirley, what do you mean by bleed over? Well, Shirley, when I was talking and, uh, you know, when the, the text has come up over here on this side, or that side, on the left-hand side of the, the screen, uh, it seemed like, and I think Ollie was, he. I saw that he had a, a Periscope broadcast going, and I was getting his tweets and his hearts, but they didn't count towards me. But it just, I think it was my signal, because I did have my, the only thing I could figure out is I had my iPad Mini, and both uh, my iPad Mini and my Android phone were on Wi-Fi. I did not have Periscope activated on my iPad Mini, but there was something with the crossover on the signal that I was picking up, and I, I had to start it twice, and 
oddly enough, the well, not oddly enough, but uh, the lighting wasn't all that great out on the front porch for the 3G because uh, uh, let's just my cameras on this this particular uh, smartphone aren't as good as an iPhone. You know, I'm I'm talking when I'm look the camera that's looking at me right now. I think it's two. 2.5 megapixels, and my front camera is a 5, meg, uh, five megapixels, which is actually better than the, the, the phone I, I was using before, a Hiui, but that only had a front camera, but I could not use uh, Periscope, so um, surely I had Android, I have, I had an Android, I have it up. Oh, okay, you're using it now, I take it then, so... Uh, Sorry, <laughs> no problem, Shirley. It's all part of the fun of the Periscope, you know. That's the thing. You can't uh, on iPhone now. Oh, okay. You had an Android. Now you're on a. I would love to have an iPhone, but I'm on. A, I, I use a service called Track Phone. Typing too fast. Yeah, that's no problem. Like I said, I. I it's all part of the fun of the Periscope and stuff that uh, we're all getting used to and stuff. And uh, I saw a term on an article I read this morning that the Periscope is still, and I, I think it's true. Periscope on its early infancies right now, we're in the wild, wild west of Periscope. So, you know, you look at all the Periscopes, and we got David from Party World. Good morning, David. I'm out here on the edge of the cornfield uh, here uh, beyond the uh, my Wi-Fi zone. And I'm going to probably do another... I was, uh, if I, morning, if I didn't have to... Uh, pick up my daughter from work yesterday, I would have done another bridge walk. I'm planning on doing another bridge walk on the 3G. And I got to see who I got in here. I got uh, David from Party World, Shirley from uh, from over there, both from uh, Ireland, and we have two web viewers, I take it. So let me give you a... David's just getting in here. There's the cornfield this morning, David. As you can see, the fog, it's lifting. The corn is knee high. Now, oddly enough, yeah, th th this whole area—it's it's about 15 acres, right along the edge. That's the uh, the western or western boundary of our uh, our d little dike that surrounds the village here. And actually, the area that's uh, the area, the cornfield that goes back over here, back here, and coming up and coming straight up here—that's all my property back there. That uh, the farmer next door over there, he uh, he farms. He's been doing it for uh, well. He's been doing it for probably eighteen, fifteen, no, eighteen, seventeen, eighteen years. We've lived here now. So uh, just put my coffee down. So it's it's a nice little uh, homestead. The house is two years shy of a hundred years old and stuff, and uh, it's got. <laughs> It's definitely this old house, believe me. It's it's got a lot of cre creeks and uh, crevices and stuff like that. But uh, I enjoy it, and uh, uh, it's home. You know, it's, despite what everybody says about the high taxes, yeah, it's that old. The ho actually, the house right next door is over a hundred years old and stuff like that. Uh, um, they they had you know you, it, it's. The wonders of uh, aluminum siding and uh, renovating and stuff like that. Uh, but the, the house is solid. Um, like I said, I live in a little village that's surrounded by a dike that uh, uh, we've had two major floods since I've been here. The last devastating one was 2011. I talk about it because it's still, you can still see the impacts of it. That uh, The western uh, dike there that... Uh, the dike system was actually built back in 1971, 72 by the Corps of Engineers, and oddly enough, in its history, there was never water that came up over on the uh, the west side, the east side of the village, about a mile and a half down uh, east of east of where I'm at. Uh, there's a stream that it's always impinging on, and uh, that's it's it's sort of normal. But 2011, the water levels were so high that uh, it almost breached on the east, and there was water that came up as far as uh, about a foot shy of, of, uh, of the western, and, it's, and it, it, it just was shocking, you know, because I'm just, a, I'm probably a half mile just shy of the western uh, dike here. The downtown, down village there at uh, 
there's a lot of people that got a lot of water in the basement. I did get some water about three feet and stuff, but uh, that was minor compared to what what other homes were. Uh, so it, it's a it's a nice quiet community. Of course, I've got a a highway, a state highway coming through into the village. That's the main road coming into the village and whatnot. So it's um, but I enjoy it, and this is one of the things I enjoy. Are you interested in climate change? Um. I keep track of it. I, my, my thing on the climate change, uh, I will be scoping on. Oh, okay. I'll be looking. I'll, I'll be looking for that then, Shirley. Uh, you know, climate it definitely. We definitely have some weird uh, climate going on all around the world. Um, you ever farm your? No, no. I'm not a farmer. No, far from it. No. The, the closest I come to farming is drinking my coffee next to the cornfield here. <laughs> That's about it. Um, I have on occasions years back uh, helped out friends that had farm on haying. I had an uncle out in Minnesota that uh, had a dairy farm. I remember when he was still alive, and uh, and it, I think the last time I was out there to see him was back in 1968. Surely it's been raining hard here all day. What about what about Waterford? What what Waterford? I don't get Waterford, Shirley. Yeah, it's it's supposed to be raining later today. It was nice yesterday. I've been I seen on Sky News that uh, there there's, there has been some rain, and you've been getting some. David is in oh and wa oh and uh, Waterford. I, okay, that's David. How's the weather in Waterford? Very heavy. Oh, so you guys getting heavy rains? Oh, okay. But um, that's the norm over there, isn't it? I I thought there was a, a big heat uh, thing going on last week with the the temperatures. Uh, when I did the calculations, they were going anywhere from 95 to 100 degrees uh, uh, Fahrenheit. It's fairly pleasant. I'm just uh, sort of fighting off the uh, mosquitoes a little bit. We got some mosquitoes and uh, and the lights. But uh, let me see. I'm going to walk back here. Let's see. Surely, it's generally sporadic sunshine and showers. Oh, okay. I'm going to go walk over. I'm on 3G, so I can walk around the... I'm going back over here in the back grove. This is, uh, I call this, we say we have four seasons in one day. <laughs> you know, I, I I can understand that. Okay, there, the camera's getting a little bit better. This is the back grove area. This is, uh, you can see the porch. Let's see if I can bring it in. Where is it? Okay, back there. That's That's where the back porch is back there. And, uh, but this, and that's the back of the garage right there. But this is what I call the back grove area. I like coming back here. It's a nice, quiet area. Um, nice greenery. There's a big old, I don't know what kind of tree this is. If it's an oak tree or, or whatnot. But, uh, it's nice back here because, uh, you got all the little critters that come back here. I think there's, uh, oh, let me set my coffee down here. Yeah, here we go. This is on the outer fringes. It looks a lot better on camera than it does. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there that's the garage, and uh, there's the back porch. That's where I sit usually when I do a porch, and this is a tree that's in the, the center of the, uh, the back grove here. So we haven't used it this much uh, this year or last year, but we got set of rabbits and actually the cornfield beyond this that's the back cornfield that's the back of my property it goes back about there's probably about an acre and a half back there so that's the grove area and if i was on wi-fi david just to let you know there's no way i could uh you would get a signal back here i used to get a signal back here so we're going to stroll over on the other side of the Grove area because I still have I got a couple lots over here just to sort of walk in the property I guess you could say that's uh, thinking about mowing the lawns today the rain holds out stuff like that so so you could say I got a little bit of a, a forest thing going on here and stuff and uh, this is the other edge of the cornfield this is where I come out and uh, have a beer and I look out at the cornfield. As far as this goes, 
And this is actually, let's see, David, looks great from this and fire mature. No, I'm not on the road. This is, well, a mini road trip, I guess. Uh, and we just walked right out of there. And then, uh, like I said, around the other side, we started out, we're around the bend there, but this is the rest of the cornfield over here. So, a little bit of a tour of the properties here, and uh, hang, hang on for a minute. I gotta check something here. I gotta. Okay. I got a I got a clock on the uh, on the uh, broadcast here. Got 16 minutes. I figure I do about maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And oddly, I well, I think I said something before on previous periscopes. I'm on a track phone. David, you could have your own. Well, the golf course is right back that way. I mean, right beyond the cornfield off to the left there. That was the golf course I walk on, Max. I'll be, I'm going to probably be doing another periscope uh, when I take Max out from the golf course. The golf course, David, is like a minute walk from here. You get in the golf cart and in less than 30 seconds you're on the greens. I don't play golf, though, and it, it ticks off some of my friends that I went in the Air Force that are avid golf, golfers and stuff. And so here's the other crossing the grassy lane over, over here into, it's another grove area, but it's, it's on the other side of the, the, the driveway, and it's, a, it's sort of a greened-in area, the side street there, and but it's it's nice. It's uh, it uh. Here, let me give you another perspective here. Okay, right there's a garage. That's the lane. This is another area right over here. We're just standing right over there, the cornfield. That's and back there, that's behind the garage, the grove, and then the the house is on the other side, the driveway. Okay, Shirley, you going? We'll see you later. And uh, this is just, actually, I, I used to call this, uh, and I still do, I, uh, back when we played a lot, this would be the croquet uh, court right here. We set up croquet and, uh, and the like. So, And actually, this whole area used to be a really, the previous owner, the previous owner, he, he had a really good garden going here and stuff. We don't do that much gardening. You know, if we do, we have a small plot. You can hear the... You should do a few vegetable... Pe yeah, we, we have in the past. We, we've, we've grown some uh, cucumbers, some pumpkins, and some tomatoes and stuff. But uh, I don't know. With, uh, with everything that we got to do as far as uh, uh, things, uh, you know, being in the... Uh, the daily light, you know, jobs and all that and stuff, and, and taking care of the homestead here. So, like I said, it's home. We've been here. We got uh, some good neighbors, and they're probably looking out their, their window, wondering what the hell is uh, Rich doing over there? You know, walking around the with his coffee. So we're gonna go back through the grove here. So I got a little bit of a walk area. You know, I was just like I wanted to. There's a lot you could do, but then there's a lot that just leave it as it is and stuff like that. It really hasn't changed that much other than us keeping it trimmed down and not overgrown and, and the like. So it's just uh we'll walk back over here. We're gonna we're gonna I gotta end the periscope here to go freshen up my coffee and get my day started here where I started it right over here by the the cornfield. So I'm out here on the edge of the cornfield. I appreciate your view, David and Shirley. We got one web viewer. Yes, we have one web viewer. I'll be uh, scoping again here probably on the, uh, it's nearly a full, well, the grass, David, just to let you know, it. Uh, we got a riding jo uh, John Deere lawnmower, and it usually takes me about, if the grass, if I, if I was to do it right now, it would take me an hour and a half. But if it if it was an extra inch, if it was an extra inch of grass, 
um, you could add almost 35 to 45 minutes on the on the, the time because of the thickness and stuff like that. So, uh, but I, I enjoy mowing. You know, I might get just a push mower out and just mow around the house and stuff. So, uh, but uh, it's about an hour, hour and a half, at least an hour and a half to do, you know, uh, continuous. So I usually do it, you know, around the house, and then I do the other side of the of the driveway there, down the uh, the side of the cornfield there. So it it's fun. It's a once a week thing that I, you know it's. It's fun when you first start, but then towards the end of the the the, the, grow, the mowing season, you get tired of it. And you're looking forward to fall where the grass doesn't grow as much. So, but I'm getting my day started here. Um, we're going. We're pushing right over 21 minutes on the the 3G here. So, uh, I think I did fix our. Uh, I didn't fix, but I think uh, with the recent update. Uh, my so-called camera roll bug, uh, because I think the donut, I did a donut periscope, get, getting the donuts, I guess I could say a couple weeks ago, that was on Android, and that, uh, I was able to put up to YouTube, so, uh, I haven't really done one since then, so, uh, uh, figured this morning was a good time, because I'm on a day off today from the day job, today's my Saturday, and, uh, I'll be off tomorrow, so I'll be tinkering around with the social media, and, uh, and, and the like, so. I'm going to go ahead and end the scope again, David. It's greatly uh, appreciate you uh, viewing along with our one web viewer. And we got three viewers. Who do we got? We got two web viewers now. Okay. Let's say good morning to our web viewers. Uh, greatly appreciate your time to uh, pop in and say, uh, see what's going on. Um, you all have a good one. And I'm going to end. Have a great day. Catch you later. Yes, I will catch you later, David. Let me just get a parting picture of the cornfield and you all live life have fun ciao for now peace doesn't want to stop here okay we'll try it this way